Hello people and welcome back to Maxime channel. Today we prepared a really epic episode full of all sorts of bikers encounters caught on camera. Drivers nowadays don't seem to pay attention at anything or anyone besides themselves and therefore we had so many crazy accidents on the road. Make sure to sit back and enjoy today's episode. This happened really fast and the biker did not expect to be in this kind of a situation all of a sudden. He accidentally struck another driver's mirror as he tried to lane split through dense traffic. The driver didn't check his mirrors, let alone indicate. And of course, he couldn't see the biker lane splitting like that. Let's rewatch this situation one more time. Take the, take the no damage, yeah? Are you okay? <laughs> oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. I bet it did, mate. I'm so really sorry. I just didn't see it. Yeah, I tapped it. Yeah, I tapped it. Life is full of mystery. Mysteries. Life is full of hardships. Hardships. Okay. Biker got into an unexpected twist with a random driver who clearly doesn't know what the yield sign stands for. It's important to note that it's rush hour traffic time, and despite that, we have this really impatient driver who couldn't simply stand being behind the bus. He dangerously overtook and nearly hit a biker who was in the oncoming lane. Bet the guy on the scooter loved that. Pay attention at the van driver in front and his poor turn signal game. Despite signaling to turn left, he quickly changed his mind and pulled back as the biker was moving around him. This can be really dangerous. Come on, dude. Hey, yo, but I know that he's in a lane where they don't often leave room for filtering, so I'm half expecting him to chop lanes. And here he comes. I have to slam my brakes on. No apology, just carries on. Just as I'm coming home, I meet this Toyota Igo driver. They're indicating to turn right, and they pull into the middle of the road, and then change their mind. Crash seems to start as the biker was moving from concrete to asphalt. It looks like there was little crack on that transition, and that caused him to lose control of his bike. Other downsides are that he was still going a bit too fast in the corner, and that the road was really wet as well. Pickup truck driver didn't check his mirrors as he changed lanes, and because of that, the biker's safety was endangered as he cut right in front of him. It's not as if the biker will let it slide by so easily. Check out what happened after the close call. I 
Again, we have the same biker as in the previous clip, and the situation is similar as well. Careless driver not checking his mirrors and nearly sideswiping the biker. This time, no love tap for the mirror. The error was driving with a freshly wet surface. Biker didn't notice the black eyes and that caused him to crash. It's a good thing that he had his gear on and that saved him from suffering any serious injuries. Biker low sided his bike at a roundabout, but luckily he ended up without sustaining a single scratch on his body. This just goes to show you how important it is to wear a full piece suit. It was at this moment that he knew. Say, I'm, I'm in this lane and I actually turn into this lane without signaling or without looking. Uh, like what this fool did. So is it my fault or is it his fault? Look at the mirror next time. <laughs> One biker lost control of his bike during a racetrack. He went in too fast in the corner and he totaled his bike completely. There was nothing left of it. Despite all the damage on the bike, the rider seems to be unharmed. And that's what counts the most at the end of the day. at this moment that he knew he up. In this video we will see a biker who came across some rude and self-entitled drivers who were either using their phones while driving or simply being unaware of their surroundings. In the first situation we have already a road rage between a biker and a phone user that ended up in a mirror hit. Check it out. It's safe to say that phone users really go on this biker's nerves, and I mean really full on hardcore nerve striking. And lastly, we have another gentle love tap for a careless driver who cut across lanes like he was the only one on the road. No sign of using his indicators or checking his mirrors. Never behave like this driver here, guys. Biker came across a really odd pedestrian who was just standing there in the middle of a crosswalk. At least move over on the sidewalk where it's safe for you, my guy. Don't just stand there and wait to get hit by someone. Woo! 
One rider hit the guardrail at the corner and he crashed. He was wearing his full gear and he ended up without sustaining any type of injuries. His bike, on the other hand, was towed away. Hopefully he got it fixed as soon as possible. Go back and stop. You good? Self-entitled driver pulled out in front of the biker without considering if it's right or not. Biker had a right of way, but this guy didn't care. He even wanted to argue with the biker after the close call. I was in the lane, buddy. You don't go in a lane with a motorcycle. You don't do that. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you. This driver blocked the bike lane as he tried to pull out onto the road. This is not the way to behave in traffic and most certainly not a good way to set an example for the ones watching. Everyone deserves the same respect. Well, at least they should. When you hit the bump at high speed like this biker here, you're bound to crash. Hopefully, he's doing fine. This biker got really jump scared by a reckless driver who pulled over into his lane all of a sudden without looking. Needless to say, that caught the biker off guard and he almost crashed. Baika's daughter experienced a crash on a quad for the first time ever. Luckily, she wasn't injured, and hopefully, this was a lesson learned. <laughs> you see me doing this? What do you think that meant? Very slow. <laughs> oh my god. This crazy driver didn't allow the bikers to pass him by, even if it means going over a double solid yellow line to block them. He didn't choose his means at all, but eventually, the bikers tricked him. Check out how this crazy situation unfolded. Just as the biker was about to enter a sharp corner at a high speed, something really bad happened. His brakes failed and he crashed. Luckily he was doing fine, but his bike had been towed away. What the f are you doing? You need to look you kill him! Could you get out in the middle of traffic anyways? Okay, just please, please look. The f are you doing? Pull over.
This Darren of a cyclist is a true definition of someone who can't just mind his own business. Biker on the other hand was simply trying to enjoy his spare time on his bike, but his day had to be ruined. Instead of just moving on, this cyclist decided to stop by and try to lecture the biker on road safety. Was willst du denn jetzt von mir? Dass hier damit aufhört. Ach so. Und das ist ein berechtigter Einwand. Weißt du, wie viele Leute hier von der ja. Scheiße sowas von angemacht sind? Ja und jetzt? Nichts und jetzt, dann hört doch auf damit. Ja, dann hört doch auf Fahrrad zu fahren. Da bringe ich keine anderen mit in Gefahr. Was willst du denn jetzt wissen, wie schnell ich da fahre? Ach, du machst das doch nur, um jetzt wieder hochzufahren, ja oder nein? Ich meine eine Pause. Darf ich nicht oder was? <lacht> ja klar. Weißt du, wie viele auf dieser Strecke sich schon platt gemacht haben? Die alle nur hier unten dann Pause machen. Die kommen gerade den Berg runter, machen genau hier eine Pause und fahren dann wieder hoch. Ja und jetzt? Ja oder nein? Ja, was ist denn jetzt? Was möchtest du denn jetzt von mir? Dass ihr aufhört hier mit dem Scheiß. Ihr bringt euch und andere in Gefahr. Ja, so willst du jetzt hier tausend Leute ansprechen, die mit dem Motorrad hoch und runter fahren oder ja, was? Ja, was glaubst du denn? Ja, viel Spaß. Genau so ist das. Ja, ist auch in Ordnung. Ja, und das musst du auch schön aufnehmen. Das zeigst du bitte deinen Kollegen. Okay? Ja. Danke. Wir sehen Viel Spaß noch. Ja, du bist ja sowieso gleich. Weil der mir vorbeiknallt, ne? Richtig. With this clip, we conclude another episode of Maxime Channel. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this one. Make sure to leave a like if you support my work. And until the next one, ride safe and take care.